G'day everybody, you are probably in at the start of your high school science journey if you're year seven and you're watching this, and so we're gonna have a lot of fun together. One of the important skills you're gonna to need to learn early on is striking a match. Now, you're gonna be using Bunsen, Bunsen, Bunsen burners and you need to get those to light. Now, a lot of schools use matches, so I'm gonna show you the proper way to actually get a match lit. Some of you have done it before, some of you have been doing it incorrectly all your life, some of you have never done it, so let's have a look. All right, ladies and gents, let me show you an incorrect way to do it. What lots of people do is they hold the end of the match and then they flick it like so. Now that can work, but what it can also do is break the match. And then if it lights, you've got a bent, ma a bent burning match right up against your thumb, or it can even be bent. It can light and break and go flying off towards the person opposite you. That's not cool. All right, actually, what I did forget to mention too is where you are doing this. If you're practicing this at home, before you light anything, you need to have a look around you. I'm using a heat map, which we use in science. At home, your kitchen sink is fine. Your kitchen sink, uh, if you've got a metal kitchen sink, that's fine. If you've got like one of those uh, plastic sort of ones, I wouldn't use your sink. Maybe on a concre uh, concrete area, but make sure there's no paper, nothing flammable, in particular metho, and petrol, they're really dangerous. Even the fumes of those, even if they're on the other side of the room, an open can can ignite, so don't go anywhere near those. All right, I'm gonna show you how you should do it. Right up, it's all to do with the holding of the match. Get the match and light across those two fingers like that, yep? And then you hold the other end, you hold it with your thumb, and now you've got the right grip. Now instead of putting it at 90 degrees to the matchbox, we're gonna hit it at about 45 degrees. We're gonna hit it fast. If I do this slow, nothing happens. If I go bang, ooh, nothing happened then either. I'll spin it around and... <laughs> All right, if at first you don't succeed, there you go. It actually worked. What a lot of people do wrong is they light that and then they go, oh, what do I do now? If you hold it up, you'll see that flame starts to lick your thumbs and very, very quickly, you'll be burning yourself. By the way, I've got a candle here to get lit, I suggest you do the same thing when you practice. Get a candle to light. Now, notice I didn't blow that out, because if you light your candle and then blow it out, nine times out of 10, you'll blow your candle out as well. So just shake it out and sit it down somewhere to cool down. Don't throw it in the bin straight away, because you'll start a fire. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you a cool trick, and I'm also gonna show you the technique again. Have you ever noticed with a candle that if it's been burning for more than a few seconds, it actually gives off white smoke for a little while. There's a really cool trick you can do with that. And to, to see this, you need to look really, really closely. Try this at home. If you can get someone to video it and slow the video down, it looks really magical. That smoke is flammable. I'm going to relight this candle without touching it. I'm going to light the smoke and it's going to travel down. Okay, let's have a look down here. So first things first, I'm going to get my match lit. So holding it across, pinching it. First go. I'm gonna blow my candle out and I'm gonna bring the match. I'm gonna do that again. Have a look at that slide down, it is well cool. Happy sciencing.